So, I'm pretty sure every one of you guys right now have heard of the whole Logan Paul incident. For those of you guys who've been living under a rock, let me just give you a quick rundown. Basically, and this, this incident is just so, like, have you ever had those times where when you're, de when you're describing something that's so stupid that you cringe, but laugh at the same time because of just how stupid and just how moronic it is because this is one of those times for me so basically logan paul decides to go to a suicide forest in japan and this is a forest that's infamous for many people going there and committing suicide right so he goes into that forest and he finds a dead body, and he records that dead body on camera, but, and only blurs the face. And not only that, he makes jokes about finding the dead body, and basically just laughing. I don't, I don't feel very good. Yeah, I don't feel good. Wait, you never, you never stand next to a dead guy? No. <laughs> I just don't God damn it. <laughs> I I honestly cannot describe this without just 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 oh my god. How can anybody be this retarded? Like seriously. So obviously this guy was getting like he was completely getting destroyed by not just YouTubers, by many celebrities, many people just in general were saying you are a complete moron for doing this, You and you're just a scumbag, and he really is a scumbag, he's just a complete and total scumbag, okay? He's a douchebag, I don't care. And anybody who supports this guy after this uh, incident, anyone who supports him, I'm gonna say this, you're either A, a dumb kid, or B, a legitimate scumbag. If you are honestly gonna support him after this retarded, just, I can't even describe it, just mental retardation, right? You are a scumbag. End of story, right? And before someone tries to tell me that he made an apology video about it, I know about the apology video, and I think his apology video is completely garbage for two reasons, right? One, he made a written apology on Twitter in which he tried to basically boost his own ego saying stupid shit like i don't i didn't make this for views i get views and just other moronic shit like that and two another youtuber by the name of reagan recently did a body language reading of his apology video in which he in which he goes over his apology and looks at the body language and pretty much shows to everyone how deceptive Logan is being and how disingenuous he's being like it's it's complete other it's complete utter BS man like seriously and even if right even if he was legitimately sorry I don't fucking care this sorry is something you say for doing a tiny mistake right this guy went and filmed a dead body of a guy who committed suicide and posted it on YouTube. So no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna forgive him, even if the sorry was legitimate, okay? He's a scumbag. But I wanna talk about how YouTube has been handling this bullshit because I honestly think that YouTube is just they're just trying to commit suicide themselves at this point, okay? They clearly do not, they, the people uh, working at YouTube right now, they clearly don't give a shit about this website. The first thing they did was put this video in the trending tab. I'll say it again. They put this video about a guy showcasing a dead body in the trending tab the same website that would issue demonetization claims to any video that has a bad word in it is basically promoting a guy showcasing a dead body in a video are you kidding me right now seriously this has to be a joke the same website that would 
completely disowned PewDiePie for saying the N-word and saying, uh, n making Nazi jokes that were completely taken out of context, right? The same website that would do that is putting this little boy's video, I don't care if he's older than me, okay? This boy's video on the trending tab. I, I'm, I'm absolutely speechless, man. This is ridiculous. And what makes this worse is that YouTube has been censoring videos just talking about the situation. One example, and I'll show you a clip right now, is when they censored TJ Kirk's video about the situation. Logan Paul went into the suicide forest in Japan, a forest famous for uh, people going into it and committing suicide. He went in there looking for a body, he found one, he filmed it, he reacted to it in a way that many people found very superficial, and he posted it on YouTube, and it got millions of views, but the public backlash was such that Logan Paul decided to take the video down. YouTube didn't take his video down, he took it down. I made a video about that incident, where I showed some clips from his video, and my video was taken down. Now, for the public, when they landed there and saw it, they, they saw a thing that said, this video's against YouTube's community guidelines. For me, on my end, it says, video removed, misleading or insufficient metadata. What the fuck does that mean? With all due respect, YouTube, what the fuck does that mean? What a blatant, bold-faced double standard. My channel is fucking macerating under the draconian bullshit of YouTube, and Logan Paul can get away with practically fucking murder. Found a body and started fucking filming it and go, ha 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 ha, death. Then I'd be okay? No. I can't even show someone else showing that. Then I'm in trouble. Logan Paul's ass can do hideous things that the entire community is fucking against, and he's okay. YouTube, how about you stop selectively enforcing your rules and actually do something about the situation? But you aren't going to do something because this is Logan Paul, and he's one of your biggest golden boys essentially it's absolutely ridiculous man like unbelievable